welcome back guys to another DIY so this long 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 slip dress silky fabric polyester with a lovely lace bottom oh and not forgetting the broken strap <laughs> Okay, so now with the dress being inside out, um, we can feed through the broken strap and then we'll be working with a fixed dress. strap um, and then turn it back the right way and then everything should be new. Okay guys, so now um, working with the full slip, I'm going to remove the lining from the dress just to let you know that I did change my mind about removing it later on. Because this um, slip is actually quite long, I am going to measure from the strap, like that corner point, kind of down to whatever length I want the top to be. Whatever is remaining would be for the skirt but do adjust this to you. For example, if you do have bigger boobs, I would suggest make a longer top and have a shorter skirt. So just do this according to your body shape. So I wanted to create this two-in-one style with the mesh and a piece of the top but it just didn't fit the way I wanted it to but you'll see what I do later on. Okay but to finish the edge I'm gonna, um, well I have already serged the edge and I'm just gonna fold it in once and give it a single stitch and another way you can do this is fold it in twice and give it a same single stitch. Okay, so remember that long slip we had? I've cut it off because it didn't fit very nice. It wasn't a nice idea that I had, so this is why we're changing it up. Um, and yeah, so this is the top done by itself, which is really cute. And we're gonna add some tassels. These are quite long, um, so it does give a, like literally double the length to the top. So what we're gonna do, um, I'm gonna decide whether I want the outside of the tassel on the outside on the inside you can see what I'm trying to do here um, but regardless however you want it we're gonna pin it all the way around um, and just make sure that you overlap the edges So as you can see I'm cutting one of the edges because it was a bit long but please make sure that it is overlapping the, the other raw edge. So you have two raw edges, one will be longer than the other, make sure you overlap 
one on top of the other I did my best <laughs> but just make sure you don't cut it too short Okay, so here's a preview of what I got. <laughs> I proper don't look impressed. But this is my result of not overlapping it properly. I'ma try to fix it. I did my best, like I said. But yeah, it's fine. Um, it could have been worse, but just to at least show you what happens when you really just don't overlap it. You just get this gap that it just, yeah. You, you gotta make it look seamless. That's one thing I go by with sewing, it has to be seamless. Uh, just in case you didn't know, yeah, all of these white strings will come off and it lets the tassels flow. But yeah, it's really helpful obviously when you're sewing it, it just doesn't get in the way and just holds it together while you're positioning. And here is the final look guys, I really hope you enjoyed this DIY. Stay tuned to future DIYs by Mosey London. Mwah.